Let's convert 2.25 to a fraction. That's where we have our numerator over the denominator. So here's how you do that. First, we want to consider this 2.25 over 1. It's still 2.25, we're just dividing by 1, but this gives us the start of fraction form. Next, we can get that 2.25 to be a whole number. We can multiply by 100. We have one, two decimal places. Two decimal places, we multiply by 100. So 100 times 2.25, that's 225. But 225, that's not equal to 2.25. We need to do the same thing to the bottom of the fraction here as well. So we're going to multiply this by 100. And really, 100 over 100, that's just 1. We're multiplying by 1. We're not changing the value, just the way it's represented. 100 times 1, that's 100. And now we have a fraction. We can simplify this, though. Let's give ourselves some more room here. 25 would go into 225 nine times, and then 25 goes into 100 four times. So we could say that 2.25 is, as a fraction, 9 fourths. But we could put this in a mixed format as well. So 4 goes into 9 two times. 2 times 4 is 8. So we could say we have a 2 here, and we have 1 left over, 1 over 4. So you can think of it, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1, that gives us the 9, 9 fourths. So this is a mixed fraction, 2 and 1 fourth, that's also equal to the decimal 2.25. This is Dr. B, converting 2.25 to fraction form. Thanks for watching.